So tell us what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to do rhinoplasty and septoplasty. Okay. And, what are um, some of the things that bothered you? Definitely the bump bothered me for uh -huh. a long time. Uh -huh. And then I think we're going to move the tip up a little bit. Okay, awesome. Um, And then, yeah. How's your breathing going? It's okay, but apparently it's going to be a lot better, so I'm super okay. excited. Which side is worse? Which side is better? I think this side is a bit worse, right? Or is it this one? I like can't tell too much with my breathing. <laughs> you can't tell it, okay. But I know. Do you have that, shortness of breath when you exercise? Or? Um, not too much, no. Not too much, okay. Yeah, okay. so breathing's so, pretty fine. Uh huh. But super excited to also have it feel like more proportional to more my proportional. face. Well, you have a beautiful face, but in the front view, the base of the nose, the Dream. bottom part that was bothering you. Yeah. You had mentioned that you wanted to narrow it, address that. Yeah. Obviously, this is a tension nose. You see, it's the the tip is being held up by the dorsum. And when we lower the dorsum, the tip comes on. That's why we have to support it, and we'll do that with grafts. And we also address the any narrowing you have inside from yeah. the septal deviation. That's going to be great. Yeah, I'm excited. I okay. can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait. Okay. So this morning, we have our beautiful patient who's been really bothered by the hump. She's beautiful and nice facial proportion, but she has a drooping tip. So this is called dependent. Tardic tip, which means the tip is being held up by the bridge of the nose. So in other words, another term that the rhinoplasty surgeons use is this is called a tension nose. You can see the cartilage comes and then it droops and drops from a cliff almost, like the bony cartilaginous septum and this thing drops off. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shave this portion down. We're gonna use the conservative um, techniques, but we're going to use a preservation technique to lower the bony cartilage. We did um, dorsal reduction using a preservation technique. Uh, create a nice to smooth dorsum, lower the bone, lower the projection, increase the projection so now when she smiles it doesn't droop down. It's a very nice cartilage graft that we have here from the deviated portion of the septum. So now she's going to breathe better and these areas are narrowed, the bone is narrowed, and the dorsum is better projected. The tip is over the dorsum, about, about approximately six millimeter. And then the, you can see the very solid lower lateral cartilages. The great day this morning, we did a rhinoplasty and this beautiful patient that had uh, axis deviation, she was really bothered by the tip drooping when she was smiling. She thought her nose was projecting out too much. She wasn't very comfortable in the profile view. So we did an advanced technique of preservation where we lowered the pyramid, kept it narrow in the front. And then at the tip, we used a um, special uh, structural rhinoplasty technique. We borrowed the cartilage in the portion of the septum that was deviated. She had a lot of history of trauma from sporting activity. We brought the septum back to midline, her breathing is better. And we used that extra cartilage instead of throwing it away we made it straight and we put it in the tip to correct the projection and rotation. Now, when she smiles, she's not gonna be, not gonna have any problem with drooping of the tip. She's gonna breathe better. Today, I'm super excited. Uh, we have our beautiful patient a month out from surgery and um, there was a little bit of too much bone and cartilage at the dorsum and the tip was drooping and had the tension type nose and she had beautiful eyes and beautiful face but now we're gonna look a month out so so what do you think i couldn't be happier it's by far like the best decision i could have ever made and like cried when we took the tape off so um yeah it's been awesome i feel like it looks so natural which i was like worried about i didn't want like some cookie cutter nose or anything but they, it fits my face and it's just better than I could have ever. Awesome. Hoped. You look yeah. amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It couldn't have been better. I feel like the bump is gone. Uh -huh. um, and then the tip stays up when I smile, especially. Yeah. So um, that's really exciting. And awesome. yeah, it couldn't have been better.